Thanks for watching Wise Monkey. Here I'll show you a problem with uh, dual overhead cam Honda engines. Timing belt. Now to align the timing belt marks, there's uh, four marks, one, two, three, four, there's the up mark here. These are in the camshafts. Now, on the crankshaft side, this is the dot, and this is the mark here, right here. So these two has to be aligned. Problem is, problem is, as soon as we release the tensioner which is here this belt there's a slack here just because of this all these teeth are pretty wide there'll be one tooth or half a tooth slack so the crankshaft will move half a tooth so as this camshaft will move half a tooth because of the slack this one will probably move a little bit on this side just to get rid of this uh, slack here so what we'll do is instead of like we'll hold this one the intake cam straight up and these two points those two notches aligned with the uh, head uh, head and this one this is the trick this one instead of aligning it fully straight we'll keep it little uh, little off like this one tooth or half a tooth to its right that means uh, uh, it will move too much clockwise now as soon as we release the tensioner this belt will pull it to get rid of the slack up, up here and that will compensate compensate for this this uh, little off and I'm pretty sure it will align right now we have to do the same thing in the crankshaft here instead of aligning the way it's completely perfectly aligned right now we'll put this one one notch like right here instead of with the arrow we'll put it right here so that once we release the tensioner this belt has a slack here this will tighten that means this will turn that way as the tensioner pulls this side of the belt so that half a notch will be half a notch will go back and it should align nice i've done that in the past and it worked very well otherwise it's just always uh, end up with non non aligned marks now another thing is there's the uh, mark so right now it's perfectly aligned through this hole is the uh, kind of white mark and this notch has to be aligned and make sure make sure that the rotor i took the cap off the rotor is at number one cylinder so this is the this is where the number one was there like uh, this one it goes like this so that was the number one you can make a mark actually and this is exactly almost exactly at number one previously it was giving low compression and when we aligned at TDC, this rotor was sitting at nine o'clock, not at around seven o'clock. And that's why the car wouldn't start. Now the low compression was because of the, this cam was off by like 30 or 50 degrees, keeping the valves open. 
the valve gaps can be measured gaps can be measured actually right from here this is the exhaust this is the lobe right there it's 0 0.008 millimeter i think so this this one should go nicely in it is going snugly fitting the exhaust will uh, go once it's on exhaust stroke so you can check all of them by turning this counterclockwise and putting each cylinder number one number three number four number uh, two as you move this each will come at the top dead center and then measure the valve clearance right from here and you can adjust adjust the clearance there from those uh, nuts and bolts so we'll uh, retime it now and we'll release the tensioner just uh, just to see if it works okay you guys so like this almost straight but this one is uh, slightly down which will uh, compensate for this slack and this side has a little bit of slack and that's why this is slightly to the right of the timing mark so as soon as I release the tensioner this will turn it will turn counterclockwise and tighten this so this will come a little bit maybe maybe I, I should have uh, turned it a little more than what I did a little more probably gonna be better but let's see let's try if not then I can redo or it's not uh, as sensitive anyway so I'll release the tensioner now just release the tensioner down there Oops. down there sorry about that now these two these four are aligned these are vertical as I said this moved I had to move it uh, turn it slightly counterclockwise slightly to stretch it and it aligned perfectly so as uh, right here it's perfectly perfectly aligned it wouldn't be this perfect unless uh, I had moved this thing there so this is almost tight now it will go slightly more this is the trickiest part of uh, DOHC timing belt TDC align, aligning of the timing belt marks so just to recap what I did is keep this one at the very top and this two parallel to the ground kind of parallel to the head aligned to the head and this one one notch which is not one full uh, peak to peak I'm talking about half of this distance that much off to its right so counterclockwise too much past this mark so that this will tighten and pull it pull it uh, as soon as we release the tensioner and to get rid of this slack there was a big slack there this point this mark was one notch again half the width about I kept it here so as soon as it's done it, it kind of uh, aligned back now I'll uh, tighten the uh, tensioner bolt and turn it uh, counterclockwise half a turn 
or one one or two full turns just to see if it's uh, comes back to the right position. 